Welcome back to Real Fishing 2, The Walkthrough. Today we are heading back to level 11. Yes, we went from level 12 in the Amago Trout to level 11 here with the Satsuki Trout. And if you want to see an explanation as to why that can happen, uh, check out the flowchart that is linked on the description of this video to a Twitter image that I have of the flowchart from this manual. It's very weird that the stage 11 has two requirements to unlock it, um, beating both stage four in the saltwater side and stage 10 on the freshwater side. Uh, there, maybe you were just reading the description of the Satsuki trout. We're heading to a, a dam or a weir that holds back these Satsuki trout on their uh, journey, their, their migration back up the river. There is a apparently an off-screen fish ladder, which the developers apparently thought that it was important for us to know about. Tell us not to worry about these spawning satsukis. So they are a, a salmonid that is a sea-going. They're an ocean-going salmonid. So they actually do make a trip out to sea. Apparently the Amago trout are um, landlocked, or I guess, or, or river-locked. We made a little jump right there. So I selected my spinning tackle and the floating minnow because there was quite a bit of time between casts here before I actually hooked my first fish of this session. So I like the floating minnow. These fish actually hit and fight a lot like the uh, largemouth bass, as you can see. This one is uh, pretty pretty rambunctious. Um, I've noticed, and this is again based on anecdotal observations with certain kinds, certain species like this, um, getting fish out of that kicking animation that I call it when they're trying to throw a hook, uh, swinging your rod in the same direction that they are kicking seems to be pretty successful in getting them out of that kicking animation. So if they are kicking towards the right side of the screen and your line is angled towards that right side, go ahead and pull to the right. Your instinct would be to be to pull away, to pull opposite, to try to yank them back. But it seems like getting them turned is a little easier if you are pushing um, the same direction. So if you're having some trouble with fish throwing your hook, do try that. Now, different fish do uh, behave differently and fight differently and different strategies seem to work uh, differently. I know I use the word a lot right there. <laughs> uh, these fish, when they hit a lure, they hit it hard, they hit it fast. You cannot use bait in this river, um, as is the case for a lot of uh, real life rivers with, with salmonids, trout and salmon. So this one is a lure and fly only. I talked about flies a little bit. The fly fishing in this game, it seems to be pretty difficult to get the rhythm of getting a fly any significant distance out there, at least that I've tried. And I found that a lot of the levels where fly fishing is an option, the bait fishing is easier anyway. And I'm still able to get fish of the size that I need. Real fishing one, the fly fishing actually was easier than bait fishing in a lot of those streams because you'd use a dry fly and you could set the hook just on splashing on the screen. You wouldn't have to watch for an animation. You'd see three little splashes and you could set the hook right away. Uh, it doesn't work the same way here in Real Fishing 2. By the way, the, uh, the goal here is to catch a Satsuki trout around 1 foot 8 inches, which I think uh, should be 1.66, I guess, feet. But um, we'll actually see what a little bit lower than that number, uh, not to give too much away here. This um, image actually looks to me pretty familiar. It looks actually looks like a river in Ireland in the city of Dublin that uh, I lived near for a long, long time called the Dodder. So there's a spot on the Dodder in Dublin that looks a lot like this. Um, it's almost, almost eerily similar to this image. I don't know if this is taken from a, from a real photograph that someone took of a Japanese river, but it looks a lot like one in, uh, in Ireland. That also had trout and salmon in it at that point. There was no fish ladder, though, as far as I could tell. And I can't actually see it in this picture because I think they say it's to the right. It's off screen. So that one's a little more than a foot. These are bigger than your Amago trouts. And uh, by their body shape, it looks like these are the fish that um, have gone out to sea. A lot of these salmonids, when they, when they go out to sea, they come back. Their body and their head has changed shape. So uh, thinking of fish like steelhead in the uh, rainbow trout family. The, the, the freshwater locked rainbow trout just look different than their steelhead cousins when, the, when they come back in from the sea. And someone who lives on the coast can probably tell a lot more about that than I can. Someone who's, who's uh, lived on landlocked states and in landlocked states for most of his life. Anyway, the uh, 
the game talks about the T-shape. I hope you can see the T-shape right there. There's kind of a channel right in the middle of this of this run here that um, creates a T with the, the, the white water from the, the dam and then rushing water in the middle. And the developers point you to uh, get your lure or your fly right on along the edge, which if you're fishing in a real life stream, that would be a good spot too. Anywhere you've got some slack water of any decent length or any decent depth, and then uh, right on the edge there. So there I'm loosening the drag. I'm using a line that is the strongest I can get, but I'm loosening the drag a little bit. And so right there, you actually hear the jingle on this fish that is 1.62. I think that's a little bit less than 1 foot 8 if I was to do the conversion. But um, as it is, that is the end of this level now. Normally, I think that probably would unlock the Amago Trout level, but I've already, in this file, I've already unlocked that level. I've actually already beaten that level. But I, I think that I do need to have all 17 stages quote-unquote cleared in order to unlock uh, stage 18 to fish for the coelacanth later on so that is it for the satsuki trout i'm not sure if i'll be back here to this level because the manual doesn't say if there is a uh, another uh, requirement to come back to these stages like there is in real fish fishing one and catch kind of a trophy sized fish out of each one of these but uh, i hope you've enjoyed this series if you are liking this series hit the thumbs up button and uh, leave me a comment on these videos i have been enjoying reading those comments from people watching these i hope that this is uh, bringing back some uh, fun nostalgic memories and maybe encouraging some people to rediscover this game it's a very chill game it's very relaxing if you have the hardware to play this game, I would strongly recommend it. Do check out my series of Real Fishing Relaxation, which is just what you're looking at now, minus my voice. It is the music, the ambient sound effects, and the uh, image of these levels, which what I've always found to be very relaxing, um, very rejuvenating, and they're nice background music if you need something to sleep or study with. Next time, we are gonna be heading back to the saltwater side and we're going to be hoping to unlock the next level and go to stage five, six, and beyond on the saltwater side. So we will see you then.